What's going on everyone? Now today we are going to be looking at what I was having an issue with my web camera. It really wasn't uh, doing what it, it should have been. It was making the Raspberry Pi completely lag out and not want to function correctly at all. So I would have to disconnect my camera, reconnect it, and try another fix. So today I've managed to find uh, the fix for uh, the webcam not working correctly. Let's go ahead and have a look at what I did to get this to work. Control Alt and then T to bring up Terminal. So the first thing we want to do is install the PCI utilities. I'm going to have the commands for all this stuff in the description below. sudo apt get install PCI utils and then we'll go ahead and hit enter. Now it should already be installed on my Raspberry Pi, so nothing to install. If there is, it will be a pretty small install and you won't have to do too much to get it going. So what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to have it so it runs on every boot. So to do this, we are going to go to sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash rc.local and then we're going to hit enter and I'm just going to bring this up here so now that we are in the etc uh, rc.local we can go ahead and add our code now I've already added the code into my file here so this will be the code that we are going to want to add to it so that way it's going to run on every boot so now all we're going to do is control x since it's in there, you're going to put Y to save it and then hit enter and then you'll be back here. And then the next thing we want to do is reboot the Raspberry Pi and then test out our webcam again. So make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We've got more videos coming up very soon on the Raspberry Pi 4 and on Raspberry Pi in general. And this is not sponsored by Windex. It's not, but for some reason I forgot to move it. Anyways, back to the video. Just to give you an idea here, we'll just go ahead and we'll try it on a few different things here. I'm just going to go sound and video, VLC player, and then all I'm going to do is uh, go to capture device and then video camera uh, device name uh, I think it's zero hardware one sure and we'll go to play and then um, okay whatever so on here there's no sound now it's gonna be a little bit more lag on VLC player as you can see here but but that's just the way it is it's not as good as using uh, one of the other programs like Cheese or uh, OpenCV. So this is what it looks like in VLC and what you should be producing in that as well. And then from here you can do whatever you got to do. It's a great way to be able to see some live footage but you're automatically going to get some lag but it's not going to freeze up like it did before. And finally, yes, I'll give one more example here. We'll open up our pie charm here and we'll have a look at it on there as well. And you'll be able to see it's a lot more fluent than on uh, before the whole freezing up thing. And these are methods that I had tried and there was a ton of other things that I tried to get it to work. I tried multiple web cameras. I tried uh, reinstalling the operating system on my Raspberry Pi and then trying it before I updated and after I updated and everything just kind of did not want to work. So I'll just quickly open this guy up here and give you a quick look and then that's it. We're going to call this one done. So uh, we're going to close that guy. We've got our OpenCV 
code here and we're just going to give that a run and this is going to be in grayscale but there you go and there we go now we actually have it running on here and it's working fine and I was getting a lot of lag before and it would freeze up and I was not able to use it on here thank you for watching everyone you have a wonderful day a wonderful week and we'll see you next time take care eh?